Rats are just disgusting little creatures. And when we got our house here in Mexico, when we first bought it, there was rat poop everywhere. There was rat poop like in the, on the shelves and like, especially like on the top of cabinets. There was rat poop like sticking to the walls. It was just disgusting. I thought there were, that this place had been overrun with rats. And so we got some rat traps and we never caught any rats but I'm gonna explain what happened in this video. So I am assuming you agree that rats are disgusting and um, you definitely don't want them in your house. We actually just had some in our rental back back in Portland, we're renting our house and we had had two show up there and die. It's just, the weather's been awful. They're working their way in. Anyway, down here in Mexico, rats disgusting, but geckos, not disgusting. We love geckos. We have little gecko, um, the, art things and it turns out that gecko poop and rat poop look very similar now it's about the same size you'll find it in a lot of the same places and you'll you'll remember earlier on i mentioned that the the rat poop was somehow sticking to the walls and rats don't climb walls but geckos do so sometimes they poop on the wall the way that you can really tell the difference between gecko poop and rat poop is that gecko poop has a little white spot on the end i, I feel like this is a really disgusting video to be doing but this is something you might run across uh when you're in mexico so gecko poop little white spot on the end it's kind of like bird poop i guess and it just has to do with the way things work for them anyway if you see that little white spot if you see things on the wall you're probably dealing with geckos you're not dealing with rats now we all know that rats um, can carry diseases and their poop is not good for you and that kind of thing. But it turns out that geckos can be bad in terms of having their extra excrement around too. I guess it can have bacteria in it. So we love the geckos. They're eating the bugs in our house. We don't spray our palapa roof or do anything or treat it because we feel like the geckos are eating all the bugs out of it. We love them around. But the key is when you are cleaning up gecko poop, because they will, they'll, they'll, poop on your table they're you know they're they're out and about um all night long um, so you'll find it on your counters it's just good to clean it up with a cleaning solution not just you know push it off onto the floor or something like that just in case there is some bacteria or something that was in that gecko poop get that cleaned up but speaking of rodents someone recently asked if there was a problem with rodents down here because there is a lot of garbage uh strewn about in mexico I have not seen any rats down here, and it might be in Baja. It's very, it's very dry here, so I'm not sure how well they would do. Maybe in the cities, like it, maybe in Mexico City or something, there there might be rats, kind of like there are in any city. But the one thing we do have here are the cutest little rodents. They're called ground moles. I think that's what they're called. Very cute, but they do make those little mounds in the yard and they're constantly digging. Cat hates it because they do dig and eat her plants. I think they have eaten some of our irrigation lines. So like in the summer when they're looking for water, we've found some like, looks like chewed on irrigation lines, but these guys are just cute. So they can kind of get away with doing that. And the dogs love them. Lizzie is a big chaser of the ground moles. She will sit there and stare at one of those holes and they, as they're kind of working their way. But when you see them in there, just totally cute. I can't do anything and I, I'm not gonna pull a caddy shack to try to get rid of these guys. And we're coming to that point in the video where you check the comments down below if you are moving to Mexico and if you're are living in Mexico and you've had any experience with rats, be sure to leave comments down below. Uh, tell us where you're living and what your experience has been so that everyone can kind of get a little bit of the take from across the different parts of Mexico. Otherwise, I'm going to pop some videos up here that are perfect just for you. And we'll see you in the next video. Hasta luego.